Hello everyone and welcome back to another Helium Hub video. In this video, I'm going to discuss Helium 5G mining and what you need to know before you buy one yourself. First, I want to congratulate last week's winner of the antenna giveaway and that winner was JC. He said, man, that was a sick setup. So thank you for the comment and congrats to you on your free antenna or LMR cable. If you want to win an antenna, check back every week because I do weekly antenna giveaways courtesy of Helium Tech IO. All you need to do to win is be a subscriber, like this video, and comment down below what you would want. Either a 5.8 dBi antenna, an 8 dBi antenna, or an LMR400 cable up to 25 feet. Let me know down in the comments. There have already been a few winners like this. Pew, 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 pew. So make sure you tune in every week to have a chance to win. Anyway guys, always appreciate the support and let's get right into the video. Okay everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about 5G helium mining. I'm going to talk about what is 5G helium mining, I'm going to talk about what it takes to get into 5G helium mining, the profitability, and also my thoughts on the project. Recently, Bobcat just did a press release where they announced they are going to start and launch their new 5G compatible helium miner, the Bobber 500, in April 2022. And as you know, I own 10 Bobcats, so this news had me excited. So I went down the rabbit hole of 5G mining and discovered a few things that I think everyone should know about before buying one of these 5G helium miners. And that's exactly what we're going to be discussing in this video. So first starting off with a general overview of the Bobber 500 and other 5G miners. The Bobber 500 will provide wireless network coverage for IoT devices and cellular devices like cell phones operating in the CBRS band. In deploying a Bobber 500, users will earn h and cryptocurrency by offloading cellular data for carriers like Dish Wireless and Gigasky. So for example, let's say there's a congested part of town in downtown Manhattan where there's a lot of 5G traffic. Partners like Dish and Gigasky can offload their data to 5G miners instead of using their own towers to better provide coverage and speed to their clients. So it's a pretty cool concept that could be heavily utilized in the future if there was a crowdsource network built specifically for 5G like the Helium 5G network is trying to accomplish. And that leads me to the second point of this video and that is what is needed to get started 5G Helium mining. You see, if you scroll down a bit further down on Bobcat's website here, you get to this section, Additional Hardware. And under this section, it states, yes, in addition to the Bobber Gateway, you will need to buy a radio certified to operate in the CBRS band. We are currently working with Freedom Fi to certify small cell radios that will be available to purchase on our website. Well, how much does one of those radios cost, you may ask? Well, on the Freedom Fi website, they estimate anywhere from $500 to $5,000 depending on radio signal strength and the throughput capabilities. The more powerful and more expensive radios will enable owners to mine more h and So basically, spend more money on a better radio and you earn better rewards. So overall, to get started, you will need a hotspot for $1,000, the radio with an antenna, let's just say you get a decent one and spend around $2,000, SIM cards for let's say $50, a commercial internet plan to send and receive lots of data um, for about $500 and miscellaneous things like cables and connectors for another hundred. So just to start with a decent setup, it requires around $3,500. Secondly, you will need a good location in order to see any profit from these 5G helium miners. Bobcat recommends that you deploy the 5G helium miners in places such as indoor public venues such as shopping malls, hotels, stadiums, hospitals, airports, or university campuses. Not many users will be able to connect to the small cell unless you position it in a location that oversees a public space. So if you're in a rural area or even in the suburbs, this miner will not be the best for you. You want to place this miner where there are a high concentration of people that are sending traffic to the 5G network. Also, you need to have a good line of sight because coverage will be reduced dramatically because CBRS frequency band is 3.5 to 3.7 gigahertz and therefore does not have the capability to go through walls or trees very well. A couple other barriers to entry are that it is only available right now in the United States and that if you are running it off your home router, it will use that to send and receive data, thus slowing down your devices at home. Now let's talk about profitability. So on Bobcat's website, 
It says rewards will vary based on the location of the gateway, the capability of the small cell radio, the speed and reliability of your internet connection, and the number of roaming partners on the network. And according to Freedom 5's website, per HIP27, we are putting a stake in the ground and suggesting 50 cents per gigabyte worth of HMT, but this may end up getting shifted up and down as we tune the network and negotiate the offload partnerships with the MNOs. So let's just say your miner has 10 gigabytes of data going through it that day, that is $5 worth of HMT. If your miner is offloading data all day that day, and let's say it had a thousand gigabytes or a terabyte that day of data running through the antenna, that's $500 of HMT or 20 HMT per day at a 25 HMT token price. The amount of data that you transmit through your antenna will heavily be based on your location and the equipment you're using, so it's hard to estimate an accurate figure of how much you could potentially profit. So my final thoughts on the project. Well, as excited as I am for this project and as bullish as I am for the Helium network, I will not be getting a Helium 5G miner. I think the startup costs are just a bit too high for me and there are way too many barriers to entries for me at least. I believe 5G mining is more meant for B2B, business to business, and for businesses that can do deployments in mass scale and keep their costs down and not really meant for the average miner like me or you. You have to have the perfect location, a clear line of sight, and a very good amount of capital um, for the startup costs, none of which I really have right now. I think that 5G mining could be very profitable for a small portion of the population that has the capital, the location, and the knowledge, but that's just not me right now. If you have a good location overlooking NYC with a very clear line of sight, then I'd implore you to do some research and see if 5G mining is right for you. You could potentially make uh, and mine a good amount of HMT. I hope this helped you gain some more insight on if you should get a 5G Helium miner. If it did, make sure to smash that like button. And also, as I said earlier in the video, make sure to stop by every video for the weekly antenna giveaway. Thank you all so much for the support. We are almost at 2000 subs, so please help me get there. I really appreciate it. As always guys, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next Helium Hub video. Take care.